Okay, so yesterday I went to a Best Picture Showcase at uh, AMC and uh, saw three of the Best Picture nominees, The Favorite, Black Klansman, and Bohemian Rhapsody. And uh, I'm just going to review the three of them. So the first up was uh, The Favorite. Um, overall, very well shot. Um, like, the weird uh, fire scene in the dark was very well shot. Um, the opening scene where it was like the weird juxtaposition between like, it, it cross, it goes at like weird pacing, but you get like a nice shot of humor in there. Overall, it was pretty well shot. Um, there were a couple of weird shots, however, or there was like an awkward cross, like an awkward like fading scene towards the beginning. And there was also like a weird like fisheye lens where like it really did not add anything to the scene. Overall, it was well shot, but a couple minor knocks against it. Um, the plot, fairly simple court drama, uh, like, it's a fairly simple court drama, a fairly simple period piece, um, like, it's kind of Downtown Abbey-esque would be the best way to pick it, like, it's a, Vic like, a Victorian-era England-esque story, um, overall, all, the characters I found pretty compelling, you have the two basic sides, like, the pro-war, pro-peace side, but, like, the interesting juxtaposition between the, the people who actually support the various policies is fairly well implemented, in my opinion. Um, as far as scenes go, um, there are quite a few good scenes, but out of all three films that I saw, the tomato scene, that is, like, that is by far and away the most interesting scene in any of the three films I saw. Like, I, I'm not even going to say what happens, but, like, yeah, that tomato scene, man, <laughs> like... Uh, that's something. That's something. Um, overall, solid humor. Like the humor. Um, solid drama. There was like good, like good. Uh, yeah. Uh, solid pacing. And it held my interest throughout the entirety of the film. Uh, the main knock I have against it is the ending seemed kind of forced. So like I think what they were going for is like you have like this innocent girl. And then she becomes, like, terrible as, like, a result of, like, all the court intrigue. But they really didn't do anything to build up, like, her innocent image other than, like, one backstory that really doesn't really do much. Like, it, I think they were going for that. Like, that type of character progression, like, have the court wear on her. I don't think it was particularly earned. And that ending was not the best. Like, of the three films, the ending to the favorite was by far and away the weakest. However, overall, really solid film. Definitely enjoyed it. Would recommend it. Um, second film, Black Klansman. Um, overall, probably my favorite of the three. Uh, brilliantly shot. There were more than a few set pieces that I liked, whether that be like the like the uh, Klansmen like going to the uh, field and like uh, shooting at black targets that are running away, and like the weird scene where they juxtapose juxtapose like black power and white power movements and like you see like it, it it's hard to explain but it works very well within the context of the film um in the ending scene like the weird drama of the like them going forward and looking back it, it works very well unlike the other couple films where there were a couple of shots that i found were like kind of awkward and unmerited there really wasn't anything like awkward or particularly unmerited in black clansman like it all made perfect sense um the premise of the film by far and away the most interesting of the films, like having a black man infiltrate the KKK, like that, that works very, very well and actually makes a lot of sense in the context of the film. Like everything in the film was perfectly merited. It was brilliantly placed. It like held my interest throughout the entire film. Um, like you go from like the climax, definitely the best, most compelling climax in at either of the films. Resolution, brilliant placed. And there was more than enough in the beginning to like hold my interest throughout the entirety of the film. Um, let's see. Uh, characters, solid. You get their interests, you get their motivations. Fairly compelling characters. Um, if I had to knock the film, I'd say like the obvious political commentary was like obvious. But like with a film like Black Klansman, it's merited. Like you, with the film, like the obvious knocks at Trump, like it's obvious, but it works within the context of the film, in my opinion. Um, overall, by far and away the funniest of the three films. By far and away the most dramatic. Like had the best humor and like the best like drama of all three of the films, in my opinion. I laughed the hardest, and I was like, okay, that that's actually a very powerful moment. Um, yeah, overall, great film of the. Three that I watched so far, 
definitely my favorite to win the Best Picture nominee. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, the real, like, at the beginning, it, it's a very, very slow beginning, in my opinion. Like, the other two films were, like, very well paced. Like, you, once you get into the beginning, like, after you get past, like, the initial scene, it's a fairly standard, like, we started a band film. Like, uh, the other two had more interesting premises, but this wasn't as interesting. And it really gets to, like, the second half of the film to actually start becoming interesting. Cinematically, they don't really do anything interesting, and there were, like, a, there was, like, one weird crossfade during the, uh, like, the party scene. Like, towards the end of the film, it gets better. Like, the Live Aid concert was brilliantly shot. I did really like that. Um, the back half of the film is definitely stronger than the front half of the film, though. Oh, like, this is the only one of the three films that did not hold my interest throughout the entire film. It's the only one that I checked my phone at all. I don't really care for the pacing. Um, Character-wise, um, whoever played the uh, dude, or whoever played Freddie Mercury, is currently my, uh, my uh, would be my current pick for, like, best, best actor, because definitely Freddie Mercury, very compelling character. The one problem I had with the characters, though, is... A lot of the other characters kind of just bled into each other. Like, the rest of the members of Queen were kind of just, like, the rest of the members of Queen. Like, I really didn't get any sense for, like, what the other members were meant to be. Like, how they were different at all. Um, and then, like, a lot of the other manager managers, like, they had, like, two or three different managers. I didn't really get a sense as to how any of them were actually supposed to be any different. Um, like, there were a couple other good characters, like, the, the uh, gay, like support a and r guy i think he was he was pretty interesting i think the uh um freddie mercury's uh girlfriend was pretty well written um there were a couple characters however that i think should have been a bit better fleshed out um i will give it soundtrack obviously great like it, it's a queen film like it, it you shouldn't be surprised that the soundtrack is really 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 solid um overall it was it's not bad like it's a perfectly serviceable biopic film. Like, if you're looking for, like, a good We Started a Band film, it definitely, like, lives up to that. Like, it's a perfectly serviceable biopic. That, that would be the best way to put it. I liked it, but of the three, it is probably my least favorite at this point. Um, like, yeah. Uh, I think that goes over it. So, of the three films of the best pictures that I've seen so far, currently Black Klansman, The Favorite, Bohemian Rhapsody, In That Order... Um, yeah, hopefully I can go to the, uh, Best Picture Showcase next week and, uh, get, uh, the rest of them. Um, yeah.